225 is a huge bench milestone to hit, and I know it's something a lot of guys want to achieve. No matter your weight, this is a hard milestone to get to. But I'm gonna show you three quick tips that are gonna get you there, because we noticed that we need to make this video, it's on Twitter. We tweeted, if, you can, if you're in the 225 club, hit it with a retweet. Only got about 50 or 60 when we should be getting hundreds and hundreds. So we're here to help you out. Also, if you're not following us on Twitter, make sure you're on that first link in the description down below. We post some funny stuff. But let's show you our top three exercises to get your bench press right up. So here are the top three exercises that we've utilized to increase the bench press for the last little while. I just wanted to start off by saying that the most difficult part of the bench will always be at the bottom. That part where you're going from your chest all the way up. This is where a lot of people struggle and a lot of people think that just simply bench pressing, doing a flat barbell bench will be able to help you out and you can but when you plateau, you've got to find the issue that you know where you're sticking within the bench press. You've got to break it down and start incorporating those exercises into your routine. So that's what we're here to show you. So for starting off, we're showing you the pin press. This is going to help you guys become better off the chest. So having to move from a dead stop position with zero momentum can be a game changer in terms of muscular activation. It's going to take away any rebounding help that you get off the bottom and force your muscle to do all the work. And it can also be beneficial not only for developing strength but also developing motor control. So the goal here within all of these exercises is to put yourself in a harder, tougher position that you're not used to to increase the bench press. Next up, we're gonna show you guys the floor press. Now, something I want you to keep in mind is you can also do a close grip bench press as an alternative, as it's gonna help strengthen your triceps, and we all know that's an extremely important factor in increasing your bench press. So the limited range of motion and inherent pause of the floor is gonna help you guys if you tend to miss in the middle of your bench press. It's responsible for helping you at the top end portion of the press, so if you're someone that struggles with lockout like the majority of people do, you've gotta try this exercise. Now, a couple things to keep in mind, guys, a couple tips is you wanna keep your elbows tucked at a 45 degree angle for safe and powerful pressing. Since your shoulders are locked in, you're gonna need a lift off. This is very important for keeping safe as well. And unracking without a lift um, off is gonna force your shoulders into abduction and protraction, which is gonna defeat the purpose of getting tight in the first place. Here you see Josh has his knees up. Generally, we this is just to show you if you do struggle with having your legs out straight, um, you can do it as an alternative, but we like keeping our legs straight on the floor because it makes the exercise harder. And last but not least guys, we've got the Spotto Press, which is also known as the Invisible Board Press. What it's gonna do is it's gonna work the bottom end as well as the mid-range portion of the bench press. How it's gonna work is you're gonna pause for approximately one second, one to two inches off the chest. So when you're doing an exercise like this, you're strengthening a few degrees above and below the pause, which is gonna greatly increase your bench press if done properly and consistently. So because of the increased time under tension of this exercise, you're not going to unfortunately be able to lift as much weight as you could just simply pausing the bar on your chest, but it will help you over time increase your bench press. Okay, so you guys can work out till you're black and blue, you can bench press every day, that's not necessarily going to get you where you need to go. Here are three supplemental tips to really help you get that bench press up. So although bench pressing every day may be a bad idea, it may be better to move from one time of bench a week to two or maybe even three. A lot of programs, especially powerlifting programs, will try to just increase the volume. However, you want to make sure you're doing this uh, sparingly because if you jump to a really high volume, uh, there's a thing called MRV, max couple of volume. You're going to push yourself to that top end of that volume spectrum and it's going to be hard to progress past that. So you want to make sure you're just climbing the ladder as need be, maybe when you stall it on your bench. So start with once a week, move up to twice a week. Uh, really make sure you're using a lot of those accessory movements we showed you and that will really help you get your bench press up. You make sure you guys are doing a lot of accessory work. So a lot of close grip bench press will really help in the long run. A lot of tricep work and a ton of inclined chest, inclined bench work. <laughs> I guess I got a little mixed up. But yeah, you wanna make sure you're working on developing your full chest because in the movement you wanna make sure you have a well-rounded, powerful chest. You wanna make sure you're hitting it from a lot of different ways, really strong triceps and strong shoulders to back it up. So make sure you're working that whole region that's really gonna help you blast around 225. Lastly, play around with your rep tempo. So try doing a lot of negative tempos of like three to five seconds. So one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five. Play around with that, play around with touch and go, play around with pausing. 
maybe on different days try using different things. However, I do recommend for majority of your benching just start pausing from the get-go, because otherwise you're just gonna end up hitting 225 like this, and everyone who knows anything or is decently strong will walk by and think you're a joke for doing that. Uh, if you're a football player and you just wanna bounce around that 225, it's a different story. Always train that way, in my opinion. But if you want to be a powerlifter or do a really legitimate rep, get good at that pausing. So hopefully all these tips help you push past that 225 to get to that 315 milestone. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Please smash that like button. It helps our channel out a lot. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.